To prove a statement is not an identity, find a value that makes the statement false. Which angle proves cosecant squared x equals one minus cotangent x is not an identity? So our goal is to find the angle that makes the equation false, which shows the equation is not an identity. An identity would be true for all values that are in the domain of the given functions. The first angle is theta equals seven pi over four. We begin by determining cosecant seven pi over four and cotangent seven pi over four. And let's find these on the unit circle. First, the terminal side of theta equals seven pi over four radians intersects the unit circle at this point here, where x equals square root two divided by two and y equals negative square root two divided by two. On the unit circle, cosecant theta is equal to the reciprocal of the sine function value, or one over y, which means cosecant seven pi over four is equal to the reciprocal of negative square root two divided by two, which is negative two divided by square root two. But let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator here by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the square root of two. Simplifying, we get negative two square root two all over two, and notice how two divided by two simplifies to one, giving us negative square root two. Let's go ahead and record this and we'll come back and find the cotangent function value. So we know cosecant seven pi over four is equal to negative square root two. And now let's find cotangent seven pi over four. On the unit circle, cotangent theta is equal to x divided by y. And therefore cotangent seven pi over four is equal to square root two over two divided by negative square root two over two. Anything divided by itself is equal to one, and therefore this quotient is equal to negative one. So now we know that cotangent seven pi over four radians is equal to negative one. And now we substitute these values into the equation to see if it makes the equation true or false. Performing the substitution, cosecant square root of seven pi over four is equal to the square of negative square root two equals on the right side we have one minus cotangent seven pi over four, which is negative one. The square of negative square root two is equal to positive two, and on the right, one minus negative one is equal to one plus one or two. So notice how seven pi over four does satisfy the equation, which means it is a solution to the equation. We're looking for an angle that's not a solution, which shows the given equation is not an identity. So we do not check this angle and move on to the next angle, which is three pi over two. We begin by determining cosecant three pi over two and cotangent three pi over two. Let's go back to the unit circle. The terminal side of three pi over two radians is along the negative y axis here that intersects the unit circle at the point zero comma negative one. And therefore cosecant three pi over two is equal to one divided by y or the reciprocal of y, which is also the reciprocal of the sine function value. One over y is one over negative one, which equals negative one. And then cotangent three pi over two is equal to x divided by y, which is zero divided by negative one, which is zero. So going back to the first slide, now that we know the two trig function values, we perform substitution into the equation. Cosecant squared three pi over two is equal to the square of negative one equals on the right side we have one minus cotangent three pi over two is zero. The square of negative one is one, one minus zero is one, and therefore three pi over two is another solution to the given equation. And therefore, we move on to the next angle, which is five pi over four. We begin by determining cosecant five pi over four as well as cotangent five pi over four. Going back to the unit circle, the terminal side of five pi over four radians intersects the unit circle at this point here, where both the x and y coordinates are negative square root two divided by two. And therefore cosecant five pi over four is equal to 
1 divided by y with the reciprocal of the y-coordinate. The reciprocal of negative square root 2 divided by 2 is negative 2 divided by square root 2, which we saw earlier simplifies to negative square root 2. And then cotangent 5 pi over 4 is equal to x divided by y. And because x is equal to y, the quotient will be equal to positive 1. Once again, now that we know these two trig function values, we perform substitution into the equation. Cosecant squared 5 pi over 4 is equal to the square of negative square root 2. On the right side we have 1 minus cotangent 5 pi over 4, which is 1. The square of negative square root 2 is equal to positive 2, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Well, obviously 2 does not equal 0, and therefore theta equals 5 pi over 4 radians is not a solution, and therefore it shows the given equation is not an identity. We check 5 pi over 4 radians. And now let's check theta equals pi over 2 radians. We begin by determining cosecant pi over 2 and cotangent pi over 2. The terminal side of pi over 2 radians intersects the unit circle at the point 0 comma 1 and therefore cosecant pi over 2 is equal to 1 divided by y which is 1 divided by 1 which is 1 and cotangent pi over 2 is equal to x divided by y x divided by y is 0 divided by 1, which is 0. Now that we know the two trig function values, we perform substitution into the given equation. Cosecant squared pi over 2 is equal to 1 squared. On the right we have 1 minus cotangent pi over 2 is equal to 0. 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. Theta equals pi over 2 is another solution to the given equation. So the only angle here that shows the equation is not an identity is theta equals 5 pi over 4 radians. I hope you found this helpful.